That's a good question. It, it seems that you you roll shit unless you're trying to get one of these new right hand skills. That's like right. That. Yeah. When I'm actually rolling stuff of at professional level, then no. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I think ropes and pulleys is my favorite one so far. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, right. Yes, everybody's very impressed with your constant new ideas. They think it's that this kind of shit is now an Australian uh, thing. Yes, of course. Mal, Mal is talking about someday he would like to go to Australia and work with their greatest craftsmen mm -hmm. or anybody that would talk to him. Either way. That would be interesting if that was if we could arrange that. There'd be nothing that Australians would like more than a half-burned fucking human-sized talking goose that mm. wanted to fucking work with their craftsmen. The <laughs> Australian people, I'm sure, would think that was the shit. And I'll bet he would get fucking drunk every night off of their beer. Yes. Everybody wants so, to buy the goose a drink. So, Mel, what's the situation with the water here? Uh, well, we get a lot of it through rainwater and storage and stuff, but there's a couple of little creeks. It's not great. So why, why was the town settled here in the first place? Was it because of the sewers? Because it's I'm... certainly not a place you would normally you, you'd want to build a town near where there's available drinking water. Well, I think this one was originally sold because it's the best port area. Okay, so it's it's strategic mm -hmm. from a port yeah, it's situation. Not, okay, not great on natural resources and stuff close by, but uh, it has an amazing deep water port. Okay, which which is a good setting off point for colonization. And taking him over. Yes. There's been some talk, says Simon, and it's not talk that I necessarily disagree with, that we should enslave all the elves. He looks at yours and goes, no offense, <laughs> and have them work for us. But personally, I don't know about that. I'm thinking you that mean, they'll rise up. In, and... in an attempt to civilize them. That's right. We need to we need to bring them proper etiquette by killing many of them and making the rest work for us without pay. In that way, they will become civilized. And Mel goes, hey. <laughs> he's not a big <laughs> not a big fan of slavery. He, he Mel 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 is too distracted to really give a shit about uh, the elves at all. He, yeah. he his brain is constantly. He's like Leonardo da Vinci, but a lot less talented. Um, super less talented, but he's got the hummingbird mind that's like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, yeah, yeah, but yeah. without Leonardo's skill. So, Simon, I thought slavery was against the principles of Genovia. It is, but if we can uh, get them to learn to not be such horrible people then that will help them and then we can okay. release them a little bit okay you know uh, maybe maybe even even perhaps someday for every five of them that vote one vote could count or something like that next you'll be saying you want to give women votes now let's not go crazy he says <laughs> No, actually, women women do have votes here. They, yes, they, I know they do here because they're they're equals. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, assuming. Yes, I'm assuming with the way that women seem to be equals that they do actually get to vote in this weird oh, yeah. place. It's it's pretty much uh, uh, the good. jobs are assigned random gender. Nobody seems to care or notice. Uh, they they don't. Uh, yeah. So. Well, that's good, at least. Yeah, well, they, they, they've got a lot of negatives toward their culture and stuff. They're definitely back in time for a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. But uh, with regards to each other, 
eh, they, 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 they seem to, there's, there's good ones and bad ones, but uh, they, they don't care what animal form somebody else has. They're not racist because of that. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're just racist against the elves because who the fuck knows what's wrong with them. All right. We shall chat about stuff. Rather Excellent. Stuff. The meal is a great success. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's let's see how the cook did on her thing. You got through yeah. the meal. <laughs> you got through it somehow. Brandy, food poisoning. Helps. Brandy helps. You're thinking maybe Mrs. Parapet should be beaten later. <laughs> but other than that, you're fine. He's settling in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my NPCs suck. Anyway, um, yeah. So eventually, I'm glad uh, you're not rolling better than me, at least. So. Uh, eventually, Mel Mel uh, goes off to his death in your carriage. He's pretty drunk. He's like, "Ah, oh, it's been a wonderful time," and such. He staggers off. Uh, um, he's not so drunk that the wheelbarrow needs to be done. But they do have a wheelbarrow for anybody who gets too drunk. Uh, to take them home. Um, but he goes, and uh, the the miscellaneous dog's body guy is happy to uh, take him home like a fucking champ. Yeah. Well done. I'm impressed. Soon he'll, he'll be, soon he'll be very good at driving. Yes. Yeah, and then you can do the mad dash through the city for some reason in your fucking carriage. Go, don't spare the whip, boy. Is the dog's body's name Delma by any chance? Delma, Delma, Delma. Delma Minga, our driver in the other place. Card. <laughs> I think uh, driver, huh? Yeah, perfect. I see you know how things work here. Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Hey, give me a small sanity roll for space time distortion as there's. I'd already, I've already made one for this stuff, but yes. Yes. Yeah, so, well, there's been we... just a bit too many coincidences. Yeah. I don't your think, brain yeah, is putting it all together and doing a new and horrifying thing. What are, what are we at saying? That's what we're at. Fail, fail, fail. Yeah, no. I think uh, one point, uh, you'll eventually max it out. It's on the uh, sheets that uh, what the max out value is. Eventually, you won't even notice anymore. So, uh, yeah, so what's so, it actually called? What's it under? Uh, it's either space time distortion or time space distortions. It's on uh, the Sandy max out sheet somewhere. Yeah, I'll have to. I don't actually. I didn't print out the entire sheet because I printed it out at home. So, yeah. I've just been. I've been just been writing them in. So I'll have to track it down. Well, even if, even if you look it up and say, "Ah, oh, this is the maximum," I keep yeah, 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 on yeah. This. That, that's what I just mean. I just got to find the sh find where I've saved the sheet off that I was printing out. It has many other useful things that someday you will get a max out as well. Yes. Let the good times roll. And then, then. All right. The other guy, he goes off to one of the wings of your home and uh, he's getting uh, situated by the butler. Well, that too. Um, <laughs> he, he, he does caution you again. He's like, Well, I'll, I'll, yeah, so. Be on a sharp have, eye, he slurs. Yes, have him nearby. Not like in a different wing or anything oh, like that. All right. The butler puts him closer by. And that way you can quicken. hear him being grisly. I, really can, I really can't recall if I had to do a roll for quickening previously. Uh, time and space distortion. There it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, I haven't been in, in your native zone. Uh, it's a natural, beautiful thing. To suck somebody's essence out of their body and stick it into your own. 
Right, okay, are... so it's just so you don't need that's we don't need send rolls for doing that. Not in your native zone. If you start doing it outside of your native zone, possibly. Okay. I'll, I'll, hmm. Uh -huh. okay, I was curious. Yeah, no, no, it's all right. Uh -huh. it, it was actually, if I did get into a fight with Krell, I was actually going to experiment that very thing to see if it would work. Uh, they, oh. Yeah, there, there's a lot of uh, interesting was, shit going on, so who knows? Well, with, with the way magic and stuff works, I was going to give it a shot to see... Excuse me. Yes, I'll need to print that out at some stage. It's amazingly useful from time yeah, to time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just keep forgetting. I keep thinking, I need to print out that sheet and add mm -hmm. it to my... Collection of shit. Yeah, I, for, for such a simple game, the character sheet is rather lengthy. Yeah. But it's the only... It's, that and the yeah the the shit the skills and shit are the only kind of complicated thing like if you know mm -hmm. spells and shit but otherwise for just like give me an architecture roll that's easy yeah yeah mm. all right so I will keep an ear open for no problem give me a willpower roll lower is better build that willpower did you say crit no I haven't rolled yet oh I was like what. Did I click on that? No, maybe I didn't. No. You're deeply asleep. I... Give me a listen no. roll at half or negative 30, your choice. Yeah, I just think I'm just checking. I don't think I've got anything for willpower. No. I will spend well, one hero. Well, willpower, willpower is your stat. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're just going to spend point. hero points on this? No, don't bother. Just because it's a check in willpower, if you get times three or less, is no concern. Yeah, well, that, that's why I was thinking of doing it, just to oh. see. Build those hit points, okay? Yes. Um, what is it? That's what it is. Yes, I make it not... Times three, special. make it? No, no, times five. Willpower times oh. five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no check in unless you get touched. Yeah, 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 yeah no, it's no check, okay. but yeah. I just made uh, I did make my willpower by five, though. All right. Uh, cool. Give me a listen roll. See if he's being murdered in the night. Yes, I make my listen roll. Sadly, no. Or if if, if it is, if shenanigans are going on, it's too quiet. Yes. It's too quiet. While you're heating your ass off there, the British uh, uh, landscape is literally stopped by a storm. Yeah, I heard something about that calling it a beast from the east or something it was nicknamed. Wow, that's rather clever. Uh, the, compared to like Colorado, Illinois, Nebraska, this is a light dusting, mm -hmm. but they have no tools to take the snow off the streets and shit, so... It's sticking around. They they're not clearing anything. They're used to it melting. Yeah, yeah, used to it going away. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Uh, the night goes by on the vent foy. Oh, that was something else I wanted to ask Mel about. It's all right. Doesn't matter. They can work it out. As you continue discovering new mysteries about this town and learn their national anthem for the place they came from. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Mm, there it is. All right. <laughs> Sorry. All right. All right. So this the new day. All right. There's two things I'm going to do. Go on. First of all, I'm going to visit Mel. All right. Um. Oh, three, three, four things. 
but we'll visit Which Mel one first. first. Okay. We'll visit visit Mel first. You leave your home, which is now a possible murder scene. You're not sure because you haven't seen your guest yet. All right. Well, breakfast first with Simon before leaving. Uh, Simon is not at breakfast. The butler brings you an egg, and it's in one of those little holder things with the silver stem that goes down into the thing, and then you're supposed to fucking hit the egg somehow and decapitate it or something like that with a little spoon. Mm -hmm. And then, ah. Uh, but the egg is kind of lizard-like because all our shit is for yes. reasons. Uh, no soldiers? Uh, he motions over to where two guys are with guns waiting. <laughs> uh, get a piece bread. of bread, you butter it, and you cut it up into things, slices. Thin oh, slices. those are the soldiers. I, yes. They're you not dip, soldiers. Then you dip, no, 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 no. They, you call them soldiers, though, because they're, they're in a line. Ah. Like a, like a um, procession or a yeah. You know, I always imagine you, like uh, and then you dip them men. in the egg yolk. I always imagine gingerbread men made out of bread, and that was your soldiers. No, no, no. I see. Well, that's that's what I call soldiers anyway. Whether or not that's what's referred to as soldiers for having with a boiled egg. Yeah, the the, the butler will get you some. Unfortunately, they have not discovered the. Vital critical toaster technology here yet. So That's it's, right. not, it's, unto it's untoasted. It's Is not it? toasted. Yeah. God damn it. No toast. It's fucking crime. You need to bring a toaster here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that'll be later. But, um... And then a fucking hydroelectric plant <laughs> to power your toaster. <laughs> right. So, anyway, Simon is not at breakfast. Well, I'll ask if he was in his room. The butler says, I'm sorry, says Jim. I received no answer when I knocked for breakfast, sir. Well, I suspect we'll go, that he is, uh, the drink last night may have. Affected. I will go, I'll go and have a look just to make sure he's okay. If you insist, sir, I can take a look if you wish. No, that's all right. I'll go and have a look. Oh, sir, I insist your breakfast is still lukewarm. Okay, if you insist. He goes off. You wait for the scream or something, and mm -hmm. eventually he returns. He's getting dressed, apparently. The drink, he was a bit worse for drink last no, night. Right. So. Well, damn, you say. Nobody to avenge. I think I'm going to go kick a vicar. <laughs> now I need to find a vicar. <laughs> I'll make one. Yo, yo, new vicar. Uh, the kid and uh, the kid brings your bird in. Uh, the bird is starting to get comfortable enough that uh, he he basically travels in his cage and then the kid lets him out. And as long as he's in this house, because this is his new outdoors and shit, because mm -hmm. he's now, uh, the kid has moved him into the starry night uh, covering. Mm -hmm. Good, good. And so the kid, the, the kid, as long as the kid's close by, the bird's okay. And he's like, morning. Good and morning. The kid, goes, the kid says, shit, you know in latin and uh yes. the already have your, you've got your check in latin already so yeah yes, he so babbles yeah. at you you babble at him he shrugs yeah. um him That's and the me. bird eat breakfast the butler point point at different things or about different things and yeah give oh, yeah. words for him yeah as i You're said yeah each, each day we'll, we'll exchange languages and stuff yeah, and anytime you do not have a check in Latin that you spend at home, uh, be sure to uh, try it until you fumble it and look ashamed of uh, the horrible thing you suggested that you know the kid do, uh, yeah. or or get it and then keep trying to get. Always every adventure you should be getting a check in Latin if you're hanging out at your estate here. Yes. All right. Yes. So yeah, the the kid and the bird are happy to see you. Uh, the Butler does not seem to mind serving the bird. Uh, he gets a little uh, plate with some bird seed in it and stuff. <laughs> the kid's right. like, he tries some of the bird seed. The bird tries some of his food. They decide they're happy with their own food. But, you know, stuff like that's yep, going yep. on. They're bonding. Good, good. The kid looks at you brightly and says, fuck, and nods. The bird looks at you, goes back to fucking back his seat. Like, you told oh. him that, didn't you? 
<laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Says Ahoy. Of course you don't. Mark says the kid to the butler, and the butler's like, "No, sir, thank you, sir." <laughs> he goes back to doing butlering. Yeah. <laughs> the bird. Uh, he seems to be really entranced with this bird scene. I, ah, here comes uh, Simon. He apologizes for being late for breakfast. He no apology like, required. He looks like uh, he, he needs his horn shined a bit because it's feeling he's a bit dull today. Mm -hmm. He sits down, red eyes, red rhino eyes. Rhino. He, he gets his uh, soldiers and egg and stuff, and he's like, wow, oh, that was quite a good night last night. Yes. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I especially liked waking up this morning, even though my head was pounding. It's always useful to wake up in the morning. Or to wake up full stop. Yes, yes, it is. I was very worried. No, oh, well, perhaps they're being cautious about because I've gained some... Oh, that won't stop him for long. No, no my friend, it no. won't. As things cool down. Yes, watch your back. For as that guy is the key to the other guy, you are the key to me. Or mm. something. <laughs> the bird's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And the kid goes, Fuck! Both of them look at him, and they both look at you like you did this. Yes. All right. After breakfast. Uh, Simon goes off to attend to his business things. He tells you he'll be back tonight, hopefully. Yes. Not all right. First things first. Uh, the, the word attempting to teach. Ah, now, this, this is how it's done, he says. Uh, all you have to do is, uh, 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 yeah, that's not it at all. Um, okay. uh, we'll talk more later, <laughs> Fuck, yes. says the kid. Um, all right, uh -huh. now we'll try dagger trick. Oh, can't try that again today. Shows you. Ha ha! <laughs> I have a dagger in my chest. Yay, says everybody else. Puts me down to there. Then we will try General Pocket, which is that skill. Yay! What did you put in your pocket? An ounce of gold. Okay. Oh, by the way, on the general pocket and the uh, tricks, I have increased the duration to day because it yeah. is less annoying. Yeah. Still annoying, but less annoying. Ooh, that would be good higher level spells extended until used. Yeah, that would be yeah. neat. Yeah. And then... Uh, extinguish fire. I'll do one extinguish fire. Uh, no, that's my skill. Yep. Cool. Well, there you go. Alrighty. So, first things first. Go and visit Mel. Excellent. Uh, you go back to Mel's place. He has forgotten you fucking exist, um, apparently, because the door is shut. Uh, it looks like around one of the windows, somebody's put like some green slimish stuff, but mm -hmm. all the other windows are left open and stuff, like easy to climb up to if you wanted to go up there to visit him again. Um, try pounding on the door for a little bit first on the off chance he hears or he's got uh -oh. a servant. Uh Let's see. First, a luck roll for having a servant. Make it really fuck no fumble. He's never going to get anybody <laughs> to work there again. And a amazing listen roll. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
right. I'll climb up. Right, you climb to one of the unslimed windows. See how you go. Don't fall off. It's... Oh, good, because it, it's some pretty fucking nasty damage for falling, which mm -hmm. is why rational people don't try it. But you are part spider monkey, so you climb up yes. up there, go in. You find him like he's busy uh, uh, working on putting the uh, bulletin board, which he has put a lot of do not erase signs on and hidden all the erasers mm -hmm. and stuff like that because he is absent-minded. He is currently working on that stuff, so he has okay. stuff to show people and stuff transcribing it and expanding upon it. Yep. Um, prototyping. Yeah, he has not noticed you yet. You may give him an actual heart attack if you want to just run over and grab him or something. I'll walk downstairs. Uh-huh. Knock on the door again from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Take a card for fucking style. Oh, let's see if he hears this. No, he is yeah. He may have gone deaf from exploding things. And then I'll call out, Mel, are you home? Mel. He, 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 you continue this as you walk upstairs. Yeah, your pretty much. Going, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll Mel. be. And he's still working. I'll be cool. He's I'll deaf. Go up on, he's stone to, deaf. Yeah, yeah. I'll just, so eventually he'll hear me, and hopefully he won't be surprised by me tapping him on the shoulder. He hasn't heard you yet. You're standing behind him, shrieking at him. Not a goddamn thing with his fumble. <laughs> I will walk around. Ah, he makes a spot <laughs> hit and roll. Let's see if this goes any better. Oh, there you are. <laughs> ah, good. I'm glad to see you. You could have. Uh, how'd you get in? I let myself in. Oh, good. And he just continues on, not realizing he's fucking barred his something door again. I, I thought it was something you might want to consider once you've finished with this. He goes and gets a new chalkboard, looks at it carefully, compares it to a list of do not fucking remove things, doesn't find it, erases it, and goes, here you go, buddy. Well, it, it's more of a general concept initially, although actually I've got mechanical repair, mm -hmm. so it could go a bit more beyond that. Basically, uh, using something like a furnace or a fire salamander or something, you extract salt water, you boil it, and then you run off the water, and it gives you drinking water, clean water, oh, and it separates you, you, it from. And then it also gives you salt, which can be then a, used. Yeah, give me a mechanical repair roll to show him how to make a desalination uh, plant. Smaller. Yeah, a nineteenth-century primitive desalination using mm -hmm. magic and stuff. Sure. Uh, where where are we? That could be a new. Uh, uh, thing for the fire salamander who gets treated like shit by his boss there. Yeah. Uh, yes, I do. Nothing special, but yes, I do. Excellent. Give me an art roll to make it look super cool on the uh, chalkboard as well. Art. Yes. What art, sort of art? Chalk. Chalk. Art. Chalk. All right. Yes. I have art, but not art chalk. There you go. There'll be another possible skill. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, yeah. So no problem. Just, yeah. Um, it, it, that, may, that may solve some of the water issues as well as giving clean water. Hmm. But it as in, well, if, it, it, it's probably a fallback. As in, if the rainwater starts getting low in drier yes. periods, it's well, it, it's always it the water is always tight here. It, it's also be a way for the fortress to be able to stock up on water in case of a siege situation. You know. Rather Such than as the just, elves attacking. I'm sure they, they don't have the chose arrow go into them guts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, through the window. <laughs> he says, you know, I, I, I appreciate how generous you are and such, but wouldn't it be better for you to build a desalination plant? If I had time. What else are you doing right now? I'm about to go explore the sewers and see what's what's up with that. The sewers are not important compared to a desalination plant. Do you know how much money you would make from that? Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's some of the cons. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd need to look at, yeah. Part of the issue is that knowledge is hard to look at in this world, as you don't seem, 
as books seem to be quite rare, so it's hard to look at textbooks to see, you know, about the what the current knowledge is of biology. I all suppose I could go into books, he says. Pardon? Unless they're picture books, all books are textbooks. Unless they're picture yes, books. Yes, but they, but they don't. There doesn't appear to be many about. Is what I mean. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, I did. I did find and send over a book to your house. Um, oh, okay. Oh yes, I, I I'm sure that uh, somebody will be interested in it. Cut to it shows the elf kid flipping the pages for Ahoy, and the book is called the uh, Pop Up Book of Fears and Phobias. And the birds go ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, ah. Much as that could be fun, I'll get rid of that one. All right. Sorry, I just I hadn't dropped when from the when I drew a card before I hadn't dropped down to eight cards. Oh, you're not a person. Yeah, you know, I was just trying to. It was that, but I don't want to get rid of that one, and I don't want to get rid of that one, and I don't want to get rid rid of that one. Okay, so um, yep, yeah, right, but yeah. So, so it might he be a way. Says, well, um, I don't know how your funds are doing, but uh, I don't have much quite, money as I buy all my own supplies here. Uh, quite but low at you, the moment. Oh, yes. Well, if you can find the funds somewhere and then invest them in the uh, salination plant, I could see it paying off uh, money things to you. Yes, I agree. Yes. I just from It was just a follow-on from our conversation about the town water last night. Money would be worth its weight in gold. Money? Oh, maybe. Yes, money. I'm really a not duck? good at finance. Worth its hmm. weight in a duck? Hmm. Yes, perhaps, yeah. he says. Actually, no, but yes, you've, you've reminded me of something I wanted to do today. I should make a list of things as I keep. There's something I was meaning to do yesterday, but I got distracted. It shows him imagining you weighing a witch. Hmm. <laughs> I need a piece of lead. Which is way the same as lead. <laughs> no, they way the same as a duck. Oh. Cut uh, to Yana. I've never seen that movie either. Yes. <laughs> You'll see no fucking useful movies. All right. Well, yeah, it's... There's quite a few people that have not seen a lot of the Monty Python stuff nowadays as it fades back in time. Heresy. Yes. Um, all right, I shall leave you to it. Oh, good. He says, looking around to find out what it is. It's a long time for him looking around. I shall go to the bank. Cut to the bank. Uh, they've got it, it's the kind of bank that's made to show you just how uh, impervious it is to being robbed. You think it doesn't look very difficult to rob. Um, but you uh, um, notice that it's it, it's yeah, it's got like four different cages for the cashiers. Uh, the vault is somewhere out of sight, possibly you go that way around the cashiers and stuff, et cetera. Yes, I will wait in line, depending on how their line systems works in this place. Yes, you, the the uh, uh, um, guy behind the counter, little string guy, says, "Yes, sir, may I help you?" Uh, Certainly. Looks at your ears, Australian. Yes, I was just wondering if these were any good for anything, and I will show him the tarot cards that the credit cards had turned into. He looks baffled. Right. Just thought I'd check. He blanks at you a bit. No worries. Thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, um, actually, um, who would I speak to in regards to obtaining a loan? A loan? Oh, yes. well, that would be the manager. Or a, to be able to draw down on a line of credit. Hmm. A loan would be the manager. <laughs> Certainly. Right. Uh, you get to talk to the manager. Uh, he is interested in finding out why you want a loan. Uh, well, I noticed the town's got a bit of a water issue. Oh, yes. 
and I've got a idea of something that will assist with it, but unfortunately I'm lacking the funds at this moment um, to construct it, and it is something that I think is needed to be sooner than later. Is it a bigger rain barrel? No, it's a way of turning the seawater into drinking water. Can you show me that it is possible to do so? If so, I would be very interested in finding out how much money you need, but I do not believe it is possible to turn seawater into I will into show him water. and explain to him. And Well, actually, he wants a practical demonstration. Oh, a practical? Oh, you mean... Oh, like he a, wants to drink the finished product oh, without throwing it out. wish me to create a prototype and show it to you. I don't know what you are talking about, he says. <laughs> I want to drink clean water. Yes. Can you yes. make that happen with seawater? I will yes. taste the seawater first, though. Yes, 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 yes. I, all right, certainly. I will, I will create a prototype for you and show it to you. Excellent. Uh, for about uh, $30, you can buy enough stuff to make a small prototype. Essentially, it's going to be like a still. Where yeah, the yeah. yeah, so go ahead and uh, give me a Using, mechanical um, repair to. No, I probably don't need to worry about charcoal and stuff like that for filtering for the basic setup of it. Pretty much, mm. it's going to be boiling up and collecting the water, yeah, and separating out the salt. Yeah, e eventually, e eventually you'll get more stuff. But yes, he's yeah, interested. Yeah. If you can but pull things off like filtration and stuff, that'll be a next level. But yeah, not worrying you're risking, too much. You're risking thirty dollars on this crazy venture, Pete. Yes, I know. Well, considering I'm out almost out of money, mm -hmm. thirty dollars is. <laughs> I'm yes. down to my last hundred. Thirty dollars is. Ooh. Um, actually, well, well, I'll, what I'll need to do is I'll I will need to exchange the ounce of gold I have for money. Because that's pretty much what I'm down to. An ounce of gold is like $20. No, it was, uh, was $1,500 worth of, it was like, it was $1,500 oh. worth of gold. Where you came from, yes. Yes, and which I think was equivalent to $150 worth. Done. Based on, based yeah, on what our money turned yeah, yeah. into. Cool. Actually, wait, no, you've got, you've got a $1,500 thing because it's, it's worth actually a bit more because oh, their okay. money is more gold-ish than gold. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was $1,500 of gold. Oh, $3,000. There you go. They're a bit shocked you have such pure gold. Oh, okay. Well, I'm pre okay, well, I'm not so running out of money now. As I said, well, then you can spend $60 and get an impressive-looking prototype. Yeah, all right. Um, what sort of in if I was to open up a bank account here and deposit funds, what sort of insurance do you have if you were robbed to we cover can, my funds? Oh, we have a very thick vault door for insurance. If somebody may manage to rob your vault, what yes. sort of insurance you would have that I would still be able to get my money? Oh, Are you be robbed? But so you're not that... um you're not uh I can't think of what the term is, under not undercut. Uh, underwritten? underwritten. No. Thank you, yes. You're not underwritten by the government? By oh, the no. Crown? Oh, no, no, no. Not out here in the uh, frontier. Hmm. So my money would potentially be safer under the bed then. Only if you have a vault door this thick. He shows you how thick the vault door is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> this is the way that they did banking up. Yeah, I know, the I know. I know, I know. Here. It's kind of yes. sad. But yeah. yes, your money is potentially, well, actually, your money is safest in a fucking desalination plant. But <laughs> yes, no, I'm just thinking, well, it's only got $3,000. Well, I don't want to lug around $3,000 of gold coins. Actually, if you were to go and spend it, because it'll cost you, like, uh, you can do the, I want this made at normal pace for, like, $600 for an impressive uh, reinforced desalination plant, or I want it now, goddammit, for $1,000, in which you hire, like, five times as many people as normally take, and it'll mm -hmm. get made really fast, like, within a week or so. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, because I don't, I don't need a loan now, do I? Yeah. And I remember it. Yeah. All right. Um, 
All right, why not? I'll start. Hmm. The desalination plant of Australia. Oh. All right. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start working on the desalination plant then. Okay. Uh, do you want it normal speed, which will take a month or two, or would you like it bucking now? Now, I Excellent. want it now. No problem. You mark off a grand, and uh, mm -hmm. people are are working really hard. Um, They've got the plans and stuff. Uh, you've hired a foreman who uh, will make a roll on his skill after a week to see. Actually, remind me in three days, hence, and there'll mm -hmm. be a skill roll, and then you can see, is he going in the right direction, or do I need to have yeah, him I'll, killed? Yeah, I was going to say, yes, I'll be checking since it's a newfangled thing. Oh, yeah. There's a good oh. chance he'll swerve off into, what in the fuck are you doing? I did not try to get a giant violin made. Yes. Although it would be very Holmesian. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. So you get all that going. Uh, and then off to the sewers or? Yes. Uh, well, go by Canary. Uh, right. Um, no problem. You find a Canary. Uh, you... Um, let's see. Actually... Um, What's it? Uh, your uh, Simon recommends that you uh, get some different clothing for going. Yes. yes. And he get is, some. He, he says you can't go by yourself. I. I'll go with you. Okay. With you. <laughs> but he doesn't. He doesn't want you to fucking die by yourself. So he volunteers to go with you. Oh, give me a spot hidden roll by, or no, give me a counter surveillance at half or negative 30, your choice. Counter surveillance, yes. Okay. Counter surveillance. Counter surveillance, that's what I thought. It'll be at half since negative 30 will make it negative. Good luck. We're all counting on you. No. Uh, let me, let me try for, bad. let me try for Simon. He's very paranoid, very jumpy, and very incompetent, so he wouldn't know. But, That's oh, right. a danger sense roll also, please. No. Is it Simon's, six Simon's sweating and his know, eyes six, are guiding. Six dark. sense is what it's called. Mm. Yes. You feel like somebody's watching you. Simon is clearly freaking out. You're not sure if it's because he has to go into the, the fucking sewer system with you. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to be. Or if something else is getting to him. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Get get some get some appropriate clothing for that sort of stuff. Some rope. I already got rope and stuff, but yeah. Yeah. Mark off uh, uh, five dollars for rough workman's clothing. Yep. And uh, you have lanterns and stuff like that. I'm guessing. Yeah. 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 Great. All that sort of stuff. Lanterns mm -hmm. and rope and. Oh, uh, you can afford your house. If you want to pay ahead any any amount of time and stuff, then the butler will go and do things with the money. Yeah, I already gave him an extra... I already gave him double what he was asking for for housekeeping and stuff, so assumably that's a couple of months' worth. Cool. Well, yeah, once oh, once uh, money starts arriving, maybe from uh, the, the mainland, assuming you're not all killed in your sleep, uh, yes. then the household will pay for itself and with yeah. interest. Yeah, something not have to worry about. All right. You guys head on into the sewers. You've got the canary. He's carrying the canary and looking nervous. Yeah. Uh, so you're when, a, about uh, the only other thing. Yeah, sorry, about the only other thing was I was going to talk to the bird word and say, we're going to go into the sewers. Were you, did you want you to go on? go in the sewers. It's horrible down there. You don't want to go down there. Are you taking me with you? You should take me with you. If How you would wish you to know? If you wish to come, yes. I, I will take of you. Of course I want to come. 
doesn't want to go, you can tell without using empathies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you and Elvin can stay here. I don't mind. Uh, Elvin, what do you think? The kid looks at him and talks to him in Latin a bit. He says we should stay here and guard okay. the house. Okay. We will protect this house with his life. Okay. All right. So, yes, Simon and I go into the sewers. Can I have a dollar? What for? I've never had a dollar before. He says in a very soft voice. It's fucking he, hideous. Here you go. Here's a dollar. The kid looks at the dollar and the bird and you. And I'll give the kid a dollar as well. <laughs> he looks fucking like, yeah. <laughs> the bird's like got his in his beak and he's hopping around. The kid's got his and he's running around that. You would think you just gave the kid a fucking college education and a Ferrari. I'm surprised the kid knows what a dollar is. Uh, apparently the bird's been fucking uh, coaching him. Yes, it sounds that way. You're worried right. about the bird's influence on the child. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Fuck! Screams the kid running around your house. Yes. All right. <laughs> but down king in the sewers we go. No problem. The sewers itself. Uh, have you been in any other sewage systems? Uh, not recently. Within this game world, uh, no, Within actually, this game world. No, I have not. Ah, good. All right. You're so, wandering no, around the sewers. To com I don't have anything to compare it to. Um, so one of the things I want to check out is when we initially get in there is looking at the walls and the con basically looking at the general construction of it and things like ladders and anything like that just to get an idea of how ah. modern it looks. It looks more modern than the city above it. It looks yeah. like mm, 1950s plus, you're going to mm -hmm. guess. Yeah, um, yeah. Simon doesn't seem to notice anything odd about this. He's not the... He's not good at that. He, he's keeping an eye on things like structural integrity and shit, which is fine because yeah, yeah. he's a miner. He's always worried about shit collapsing mm -hmm. on him. He, he tells you these look really sturdy. He does not hit the wall in order to emphasize his point, which mm -hmm. is good. Um, the other thing is also, um, oh, they got this. Oh, I've kept, I mean, kept forgetting about that. The thing about the insects I have. But yeah, keeping an eye out for insects and yeah, you know, rats. Basically, seeing what sort of animal life is down here. There are some insects, and Simon fucking ruthlessly stamps on them until there are just too many. Uh, but anytime he sees insects, see an insect, kill an insect. This seems to be an almost instinctual thing. What's the thing about insects killing insects, Simon? What do you mean? He says. Well, whenever you see an insect, you're killing it. Why? Oh, yeah. We, what? Don't you do that? Well, depending on where I'm from, insects have a part of the environmental cycle. That part being to kill us all in our beds, you mean? No, no, no. Like you've got bees that fertilize stuff. You've got other insects that eat that. De assist with the de decay and the natural life cycle of plants and stuff. Uh, some, some insects are annoying and spread disease and stuff, but yeah. No, That's no, not... you, you, you always kill insects because they remind us of the isotrox that sail out of Vel Velour Akun. The isotrox? Isotrox. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've been at war with them for a long time. Anytime that, yeah, and they, they, they have these bigger bugs and they go on your face and they lay eggs and stuff in you and they can take you over and then their young come out of you and stuff. It's fucking horrible. You got face huggers. You know, you know about them. There's one behind you on the he fucking <laughs> screams and drops the canary into the fucking sludge. Goes, yeah, no, no, I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he whirls around and fucking is blindly striking and shit. And no, 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 I'm talking about, don't worry. <laughs> he looks at you and he looks at like the cage which sings out of sight in the shit and he goes, 
Oh, well. That canary was three days away from retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Just glares at you. <laughs> right. You can okay. you continue on without your canary in the coal mine to tell you if you're going to die soon. Yes. Awkward. Awkward. Poisonous sewer gases. Mm -hmm. Give me a, a simple luck roll. This is what kind of shit do you run into in the sewer? Where is my luck? A natural one. A zero one on my luck so, roll. So you take some random turns. You're like this way, now this way, now this way. Here we are. You come across a small... A uh, greenish, pulsing, swirling mass. It appears mm. to be a gate. Mm. Simon does not see anything. Uh, give me a memory roll, by the way. This is the an important roll here. Uh, where am I in relation to where I came from? Finding your way back to this ever, or maybe yes. out. I make my memory roll. Did you roll a natural one on that too? No, no, oh, 59. 59. Sorry. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're you're pretty sure you know where this is and can get out. Simon doesn't see anything odd. You're okay. standing in front of him. He's looking at you like, "What's up?" And you're like, "Ah." And he's like, uh -huh. "Okay, so ah, you can't uh -huh. see. You can't see that gate there. Interesting." When we appeared, when when myself and Doc Fulton appeared, yes, did you did you see the shimmering object we came through? No. Okay. Is it invisible? It must be, or you're then not. Then how would you know it's there? Invisible in that you need to be attuned to its magic to be able to see it. I see. What's attuned mean? Um, you question. don't know, do you? You're just using fancy talk to confuse <laughs> me, aren't you? No, I understand. It's the I'm swamp gas madness. It's shit madness. He starts shaking you. We're going to die. No, no. It's all right. Is there, is there vents or anything around around this area? Vents? To the vents or ladders up to the surface nearby? Uh, there's one back the way you came a bit. There's nothing yeah, close but, by. None, yeah, I was just curious if there's any close by to work out a faster way to get here, basically. Of course not. That'd be too convenient. You have to walk an extra 100 feet that way. If it even opens, you have no idea. Yes. All right. Well, let's go back to where the last way, well, the last ladder in that we crossed to work sure. out. Sure. Where Give me is. a luck roll. Give me another natural fucking one, and it'll be in your goddamn wine cellar. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> Just give me that hot one or any crit. It's in your wine no. cellar. No? No, but I will. Do I still have that card? With a failure, it just won't open for some reason. I'll use the lucky day card. Is that you make your luck roll card? Or is yes. it a crit? Is it a crit or what? It says, no, it just turn, turned a failed luck roll into a success. All right. Uh, great. Yeah, normal success. It's um, somewhere in the kind of shitty area. Uh, probably, hold on a minute, let me do a, actually do a random, random roll. Lower is less inhabited, higher is like somebody's fucking basement type deal. Yeah. Really high is the street. Yeah, I'll just do just a that. straight up percentage roll. Yeah, yeah. 25. So, yeah, it, it comes out in somebody's fucking basement of their hovel or whatever, which can be yours for a low, low <laughs> price. 
of $150 and they will mm -hmm. collect their meager belongings and get the fuck out of your house. That's right. They don't need to leave. Have just have an arrangement that we can go into their house and use the basement. For twenty dollars, that is your right. Anytime yes. you want. Twenty dollars, boom. Uh yeah. Pretty much until they, they start feeling like you've been here a lot and then they'll probably ask for more money. But yeah, for 150 right. you can kick them out of your fucking house and then you can own the house down it, there. In some ways it's better having somebody living here because it's equivalent to having a caretaker. Uh, take a card for thinking ahead, you crafty devil. Simon is fucking uh, like sitting there in one of their chairs, breathing heavily as though he just completed his first marathon. <laughs> He's grateful to be out of the sewer. It was fucking dark. It was stinky. There was a lot of bugs down there. All things he doesn't like. Mm-hmm. Well, there's still a couple of things. I, one thing I one thing I want to do, Simon, is see where the sewage goes. It goes away. Yeah, way to where? Uh, nobody knows. Yeah. yeah, that's the question. Does it go out to sea? Does it go to some? Who knows where? Does it just go to a brick wall? It's too dangerous to even speculate on these things, he says. There's bugs down there. He looks around to make sure nobody heard him. <laughs> but they're not the they're not the ISO -tuck, trucks, tucks, whatever you call them. They're bugs. Anyway, I'm bugs. interested to see where that portal goes through. That gate goes to. He does not look interested to see where that portal goes. No, well, you can see it. So, do you intend? Do you are you going to stay here, or are you going to come with me? To where? I'm going back down to the room where the portal is. It's getting late in the day. He says, three hours have passed. He says, <laughs> yeah, <'cause> we should <laughs> we should go rest and then go back after it tomorrow. Oh. Um. It's it's only ten minutes away. It's actually it's only a hundred feet away from here. A couple hundred feet away, so it's all of five minutes. If that. oh, all right, he says. <laughs> that too shows him climbing down a ladder, muttering. <laughs> he got a torch from the people, so now he's got a torch. So he waves at bugs and stuff like back, back, back. You guys head back in, go to the portal. Mm -hmm. He looks around. He doesn't see it. No, I won't do that to you. What? He says, he looks well, around for face huggers. No, 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 no. I'm just thinking if, if it was somebody here that I did not like, I would stand on the other side of the portal so they would have to pass through the portal to come to me. So we could There's see. No, if it I don't. He, he he says, "Is it down this way?" He's starting no, to head. Don't, don't, I, I'm don't want. I don't want to risk that you touching the portal will affect you in a bad way. Okay. It may do nothing, or it may actually do something. But I don't want to experiment with your life and well-being. Thank I you. Will. I will, however, step through it myself to see what happens and see. No, where it goes. you can't. It might be dangerous walking down that completely empty tunnel. I walk through the portal. Right, and end of adventure. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going to be starting somewhere new as you hear him going. No. Oh. So go ahead and discard any cards you don't want for end of mission. Yeah, so pretty much everything I was hanging on to for combat and stuff. Mm -hmm. Are you getting end of mission refill? Yes, and yes, I know. We'll be picking this up tomorrow because, you know, we've gotten your good uh, like game session. Made. I'll yeah. keep the reroll card. I think that's the only thing I will keep okay it's amazing to me when people discard reroll cards when they're doing skill ups it 
it depends on the way it's worded. I've got, I've got a feeling some of the re, there's a, at least one of the reroll cards actually says it causes a failure in turns a failure into a success or something like that. Ah, those mm. ones, yeah. Well, okay, that makes sense because I think I had one last week. Hmm. One and of these I, days I'm going to go through all the fucking cards and try to standardize them, but my eyes glazed over the last time I tried it. Yeah. And let's see, a red in there. What's the red? Down to the wire. Everyone immediately, no trading, discards all cards but one. Wow. Did you get anything worth holding on to? Let me check. That's the big question. Uh, haste, not interesting. Operate heavy machinery, not interesting. Alex Kinley card, not interesting in this situation. A nope, which will be useful against that play immediately card. A quick picker upper, not useful. And a reroll, so two rerolls. So yeah, I'll play the nope on the play immediately since I'm not going to get a refill. Right. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm not thinking straight. I should. There was a different card I should have kept that would have allowed me to do another draw, but too late now oh did you discard it already yeah yeah i discarded it already that's all right Bummer. all right so i play the note on the play immediately so i then have two re-rolls but yeah don't have anything to don't have any victories or clogging greeds or anything of that nature okay that's it. Well, you, got, you got three buys and i don't think you spent uh i think Not... you probably spent one or something yeah no i didn't in no, the end you, you used a uh, reverse dice or something yeah yeah all right, so that puts me at 20 with two over. Woo! Once you get to 50 over, happy times happen. Yes. 